Hi, my name is Leonard with PureWaterForYou.com and I'm here today to hopefully try to explain the little tricks we use on how to re, uh, replace the membrane on your reverse osmosis system. Now this is a standard membrane housing that's used on many many different standard type systems. Now if you look at the membrane housing itself you will see that one end has one water connection and the other end has two. Now this one happens to have side ports some uh, membrane housings have the fittings right here at the very bottom. It doesn't matter because either way they both operate the same way. Now on the end with one water connection, this is the water inlet to the membrane housing. And the water comes through your pre-filters right to here. On the other end, you'll see the two water connections. You'll notice that one is closer to the center of the housing itself. The other one is towards the outside edge. The one towards the center that's the product water. Once the water comes in, goes through the membrane itself, and it's cleaned up, this is where the water comes out of and goes from here to your holding tank. The other end on the outside, this is the waste water connection. This is the one that connects to the drain. And you'll notice that on this one here, it's got a, the flow re, drain flow restrictor on it. And uh, that's basically how these things work. They're real simple. One end, product water, waste water. Now, to replace the, the membrane itself, all you need to do is shut off the water to the system, turn off the valve on your holding tank, and open the faucet to relieve the pressure. Now, it's a lot easier to do this with the uh, membrane removed. However, you can leave it in if you like, and uh, it makes it a little bit tougher, but it, it's still possible. All you need to do is disconnect the water line on the uh, uh, feed, feed end and, re and unscrew the cap. Once you do that, you'll see that the membrane is inside of it. This one happens to be empty. All you need to do is just take a pair of pliers, grab the plastic in, and pull it out. Now, to install the new membrane, well, let me explain uh, the membrane itself before we go there. This is a standard reverse osmosis membrane. This one happens to be made by uh, uh, GE Osmotics. FilmTech makes an excellent membrane also. They both standard size and dimensions. Now you'll notice on this, on the one end, you have a rubber ring. This is the brine seal. This is what keeps the water uh, from going around the membrane itself and forces the water to go through the membrane. On the other end, you'll see it had, this one happens to have two O-rings on the end. Some of them only have one. This one happens to have two. The important thing to remember is the O-ring end goes in first on these standard systems. And, you know, just like this do not go this way. They go in this way. And if you look at the bottom of the membrane housing, yeah, it's dark so you can't see, but you will see at the very bottom of it the seat that this O-ring end slides into. And it's very important that the O-rings are, are all the way into the membrane housing itself because that's a proper installation. Now all you do is just slide it in. Now what I do uh, you can use, if you don't have any silicone lubricant, you can use KY. Uh, it's just a water-based lubricant, just as long as you do not use Vaseline on these things. Any water-based lubricant will work. And what I do is I lubricate the O-rings here. And to make installation easier, I also lubricate the underside of the rubber brine seal. Now, all you do to uh, install the membrane itself is just slide it in. Now you see the, the brine seal has stopped it here. It's just give it a push. Now you notice it'll go in, and on this case right here, you'll see that you still have a piece of plastic sticking out the end. This membrane is not properly installed. This has to be all the way in before you put the cap on. Do not, and I'll repeat, do not take the cap, put it on, and crank it down to try to force the membrane all the way down. You'll do two things if you do that. One, you'll ruin the bottom of the membrane housing with the o-rings and number two you'll ruin the bottom of the membrane housing itself the solution to fix that new housing new membrane so please do not use the cap to crank it down to try to get it to fit it's a tight fit and it's meant to be that way so slide the membrane in first of all now what you do is just grab the plastic end and just slowly twist and the O-rings will find their seat at the bottom and you'll slide it all the way down. Now you'll notice that this membrane is properly installed. The plastic end is just about flush with the end of the membrane housing. 
this is a properly installed membrane. Now, all you need to do is install the cap, tighten it down, reinstall this into your system. Now, what you do next is very important because you'll notice on most of the bags that the membranes come in, it says right on it, contains preservative solution. This membrane element uh, must be rinsed under pressure before being soaked or stored in water. This, okay. Now, a lot of people are confused about what that means, and it's really simple. Once you reinstall the membrane and turn the water supply back on, all you need to do is open your faucet and let the water run for about two hours. What this does is it flushes the preservative off of the membrane. Now, this is a food grade preservative, so it's not going to hurt you. It just doesn't taste very good. So. Uh, you want to open the faucet and just let the system flush itself for the first two hours and then close the faucet, let the tank fill up, and uh, you're ready to go. And that's how simple replacing a membrane is. Now, if you have any questions, please email us. If you'd like uh, to see another video on another subject, please email me and let me know because I'd love to do more videos for you to make it easier for you to change your own filters and save a lot of money. Thank you very much.